what's up you guys so today i am going to do a story time on one of the crazy arguments i've had so y'all around this time i had to be maybe roughly 21 22 and um i stay in baton rouge louisiana if y'all don't know well my pnc used to stay in lafayette so we you know you get tired of the same club scene on a regular basis so we decided we was going to go to Lafayette this weekend. Well, we get to, well, before we left, um, it was four of us. It was me, my PNC, um, I call her P, and um, the other girl who I didn't know, name was K. So, we all decided, okay, we're going to go to Lafayette. Well, we get down there, we're having a good time. Everybody drinking, having fun, whatever, whatever. Uh, K was the designated driver who volunteered. Well, once we get there, a little while in, she started acting kind of crazy, like pretty much like she was ready to go. So, of course, all of us, we having a good time. We're not ready to go yet. Well, goes to find out that K have, was in a relationship with her baby's father. She told him she was going to a club in Baton Rouge. So... She was trying to leave early so she could be back in time like she was really at a club in Baton Rouge. Well, we didn't know that, of course. So, I felt like, why would you offer to drive knowing that, you know, we were going 45 minutes to an hour away from Baton Rouge. Why would you offer to drive or even lie and say that's what you were doing? But, anywho, so, of course, we're not ready to go. So, we like... You know, all us in cahoots, like, we're not leaving yet. Whatever, whatever. So, um, once the club was over with, she had this, Kay had the stank attitude. She was mad. She didn't want to be bothered. She peed off. So, when we leaving out of the club, they had, I want to say it's like two or three guys. I can't remember exactly how many it was. But they started walking with us. Kay was all the way ahead of us because she was mad. She didn't want to be bothered. Well, at the time, I was in a relationship with my PNC's cousin. And uh, P was, I want to say she was dating somebody, but I don't think they were serious. But she was dating somebody at the time. Well, of course, I tell the guy who was talking to me that, you know, I'm in a relationship. And he pretty much giving me props like, oh, you know, because most girls wouldn't do that, yada, yada, yada. You know, you have a lucky guy for, you know. The typical shit most guys would say. So, she comes out, y'all, and, like, do her head to the side, like, come on. <laughs> so, I, all of us, we tipsy. We laughed. We thought it was funny. The guy who was talking to me was like, oh, man, she about to leave y'all. And I'm like, nah, she ain't gonna leave us. You know, she gonna be all right. She ain't gonna leave us. So, finally, we all get in the car. And we headed back to Baton Rouge. So, she, her and K and P getting into it. Like, K pretty much telling P, oh, you in a relationship. You don't need to be out here messing with these other men. Just doing the absolute most for no reason, y'all. Like, she was just going crazy. So, P, like, you know... I could do what I want, whatever, whatever, you know. So she gets aggravated. So she climbs from the front seat of the car into the back. She's sitting in the middle between me and my PNC. So Kay starts to mention my name. Remind y'all, this was the first night me and this girl had ever met each other. Ever. Like, we've never seen each other prior to this, like nothing. Like, she don't know me, I don't know her. So she goes to mention because you're in a relationship and you shouldn't be out here messing with um no other men or whatever, whatever. So I'm like, you don't know me and I don't know you. So just keep my name out of your mouth because we don't know each other like that for you to be addressing me about my relationship or anything. You focus on yours, I'm going to focus on mine. I got this. So... She said it going on and on. So, remind y'all, I had to tell her about four four times, four or five times to stop mentioning me. Because we don't know each other. 
I feel like when you don't know somebody, you don't butt into their situation. You don't know what my situation was with my relationship. So don't butt into it. Like, because you don't know nothing that's going on. For starters, y'all, I was with my boyfriend's cousin. Why would I be that stupid to be messing with another man and I'm with him? But I'm telling her, mind your business because I got this. I don't need your help to tell me what I need to be doing in my relationship. I should have been telling you what to do with yours. But anywho, so she said it going on and on. And y'all, I'm not the one to argue. I don't like to argue. I don't believe in arguing. Like, I'm just not going to do it. So once I get to the point where I just be quiet completely, I'm ready to fight. So... She started going on and on, and I'm just standing there looking at her. Now, remind y'all, I'm tipsy. So, the slightest thing is, like, gonna make me click. So, I get quiet, and I'm just looking at her. My PNC looked at me and was like, AK, you might want to be quiet because, man, you better be quiet, bro. So, y'all, she wanted them lit. Instant just was like, oh. She just wouldn't shut up. Like, she was just going on and on. Y'all, before I knew it, I had to... I I literally punched a girl in the back of... Well, on the side of her head. And she's driving. Y'all, she slammed on brakes so hard. None of us in the back seat have on a seatbelt. We almost flew out of the window. Literally. So, all of us, like... Oh, my God. So she slammed on brakes and she opened the door. She get out the car. She cause I got a gun. I'm about to kill this bitch and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going back at, I'm like, when you shoot me, you better kill me, bitch. Cause once I get out the hospital, I'm coming back for you. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But we going there to so my PNC gets mad. Like, you know, you putting guns in this and it's not even that serious. Like you going, taking this way too far. So the door that I was sitting by, I was on child lock cause she has a child. So, I'm trying to climb over the seat or get off the passenger side. But remember, my PNC and uh, P is sitting on side of me. So, I'm trying to climb out the front. P grabbing me like, no, stop, y'all. Her nails were so long. And she broke. She maybe had one or two nails on left. She still to this day say, I owe her a full set. I'm sorry, boo. But she was trying to pull me like, y'all, chill out. Stop, stop, stop. Because remind y'all, that's her friend. So, I'm like, if this is what you want, I'm about to give you what you want. So, I'm trying to get out this car, y'all. I honestly, to this day, do not know how things calm down and chilled out. But she ended up getting back in the car. I called my boyfriend because at this time, like, he was the only one who could kind of calm me down. So, I'm like, you need to meet me at the bridge because once I get there, you know, I'm about to beat this bitch up. I had the made up my mind. Once we got on the bridge, I was going to be hub. That way, you know, he could just pick me up from the bridge and I ain't got to worry about it. Y'all, oh, mind y'all, I made my PNC lose her heels that night. She had just bought the meals to y'all. She still, I think she made about that still. But it was, it was crazy. So, y'all, once we get to that bridge, tell me why this girl looked back, uh, looked through the mirror was like, Dionka, I just want to apologize because you're right. I don't know you like that. And, you know, I shouldn't have been speaking on your situation. And I just want to let you know that I'm sorry. And, I, you know, I didn't want a confusion. I was just upset and yada, yada, yada. So, P and my PNC looking at me like, not this girl to apologize to you. You talking about being up. So, I kind of felt bad because I'm like, I want, I still wanted to be up. Yeah, I was on fire. And I was tipsy i had alcohol in my system so i'm on fire i'm like mm -hmm, all right whatever it's cool like i ain't tripping it is what it is <laughs> so i'm aggravated because i didn't get the b-hub and you know it, it was it was crazy y'all i used to be like an extreme high head and it's so crazy because a lot of people who meet me they cannot believe i had that side of me but I feel like anybody would end up clicking off if you constantly telling somebody who you don't know, don't speak on me. You don't know me. So why would you speak on somebody that you don't know? But yeah, that was kind of that situation. But yeah, so I'm going to continue to do my story times. And the more I do them, the more y'all will get to know who I was 
and who I have grown to be. <laughs> um, I'm the same bilk. I just, I'm, my temper not as bad, of course. I'm old. I don't have time to be fighting people, but yeah, the old high head I used to be. That was the story time on my crazy argument. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.